I was gonna ask you yeah. what he said. Yeah. Is uh, Imam Al Mahdi mentioned in the Quran? No, no, no. Or the Jad? No, both of them are mentioned. But what is mentioned? We must see that. But this is, is that like a true fact or that's no, no, no. The Jal is coming. No, Mahdi is coming. But who's coming? You must see. You want to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah judgment. Who's coming? Yamal <laughs> No, no, no. Before you. Before you all have somebody is coming, man. Adaba. Huh? Adaba. Isa, 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 One minute. Right. One minute. Who what? Isa. No. You? No. Adaba. You are not speak. Oh. You are not allowed to speak. You are, oh, you are not allowed to speak. Yeah. 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 No, I want to know. Look, he says here. Wait, Kala Isa ibn Maryam. Isa is the prophet. Isa is the prophet, you know? Yeah. When he was born, Kala inni Abdullah, Atani al Kitab, Wajalani. He was a born prophet. He mm -hmm. said he was a born prophet. So he says, Kala inni Abdullah, Atani al Kitab, not Injil, Atani al Kitab. Same book. Same book. Wajalni Nabiya, and he's made me a prophet. He's made born prophet. So you, you know in Pakistan, you understand this, the Nasheed Anashid. So, <laughs> so in Pakistan, there's a Nasheed. Ya Nabi Salam Alayka Ya Nabi Salam Alayka This is it. So I said, look, to whom you are saying it? You don't say, Ya Muhammad Salam Alayka You say, Ya Nabi Salam Who is the Nabi? Born? So they don't know, they say, Ya Nabi Salam So I said, you call him Nabi, man, Jesus. Because he was a born prophet. Muhammad was, so, so to say, not born prophet. First of all, he's not a prophet. Then he was not born prophet. Again, problem. Problem, pro problem. So, Nashis, you know, they are saying, I don't want to say Nabi Salam Alaika is wrong, but I'm questioning that who is a prophet? What? He's agreeing. He's like, damn. Huh? He's crazy. He's crazy. He just like understood what you said, what you meant. Huh? Yeah. So Isa Islam, he says the last prophet, so to say, in the in the Quran, not mentioned last, but he prophesies. If someone is coming after him, with Kala Isa Nomarim Ya Bani Israel, he said, "O Chino Israel, Inni Rasulullah, I am a messenger to you. Musaddiqal Lima Bayna Yadiyya Min Al-Tawrat, I am confirming from the Tawrat. Wa Mubashinum Bi Rasin Yati Min Badis Wa Ahmad, and I am good news who will come after me. His name will be Ahmad." So, for Ahmad you look for. And Falamma Jam Bil Bayanat. And when Ahmad came, Kalu Hada Serum, they said this is a clear magic. So now in the Quran there is a prophecy going of Jesus till the Qayama. That Ahmad is coming, Ahmad is coming. So this Ahmadiyya group, Ahmadiyya group, say Gulam Ahmad is a prophet. So in, in Pakistan, Lahore, all the from from Arab world, from Saudi Arabia, from from I don't know which Arab countries came, the big kings and big people, and they all made Ahmadi non-Muslims. You follow? Because he's a false prophet, Ahmad. So because this mentioned Ahmad, so they say in the in other word Mahdi. They don't say Ahmad. So they have used the terminology Mahdi, the guided one. You understand? So basically, Quran is referring to Ahmad in all times. Ahmad will come, Ahmad will come, Ahmad will come. So when he will come, and will come with clarification, they will say it's a clear magic. The people when hear it from that person will say it's a clear magic. Magic is going on. So Ahmad could be any person? Huh? Ahmad could be anybody? The, 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 the Ahmad part is, is, is prophesying about Aham, Ahmad. Ahmad means the more, more praiseworthy. Ahmad, superlative, right? It's, he's saying it's not a specific person. Yeah. That's what it's, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the idea, the, the, it's not the, the actual person, it's yeah. a, the idea of the person, of a person that mm. will come. Yup. Yeah. No, this is not an idea, he will come. No, no, I'm saying, but... Uh, but, you know, I... Didn't say a specific, there's this person named yes, Ahmad. Yes, it, yes, yes, yeah. yes, he's right. I, I will explain to you why. When you say, exempt, if I ask you now, Ya Yuladina Amun, to whom God is saying right now? Uh, 
You're saying to us, everybody. Ya Bani Adam. Who believe? All ya Bani Adam. Believe. Ya Bani Israel. Like, so Ahmad will come in every era, but we have to identify because he is not once upon a time he came. That we fix it for fourteen hundred years. Mm. It's all time. It's all time. So, but the the proof of his when he speaks, he will say the people will say it's a clear magic. That when he when he came, falamma jam bilbayi na. When he came with clarification, they said this is a clear magic. So when people recite the ayahs, this badi, this the big big scholars, they, nobody says to them they are they are doing magic. When Ahmad will come. In all times, I'm saying in all times. I said not in particular one time, but we cannot identify anywhere. Anywhere we have to identify by by the ayat. So uh, you know Jabal Rahmat. You know Jabal Rahmat. There's a mountain of Rahmat. Where is it? When you go to Arafat, that you go to Hajj, there's a mountain of their name is Rahmat, Rahma, Rahmat. Who's Rahmat for mankind? Mercy oh. for mankind. Uh, yeah, Muhammad. Yeah, you say Muhammad. Okay, you can say whatever you like. That's what I think. Yeah, that's what we know. Now, what happened when Jibril came to Maryam and said you will you will you will born a child? So she said, she said, how shall I have a son? Seeing that no man has touched me, and I am not unchaste. So the angel replies. Nineteen surah. It is uh, twenty-one verse. Pala kadalik, likewise, before without touching. Kala Rabbu ki huwa aliyah hiyun. For him, to is very easy. It's very easy to create. Wali naj alahu make Jesus. He said, Wali naj alahu make Jesus. Ayat al nas. Jesus will be sign for mankind and. Rahmat of Minna. He will be mercy for for people. So on the last day, or on the day of so-called historical event, they say that on Jabal Rahmat, there is a mountain in Arafat. Mama stood up and gave the last sermon. So that mountain is known as Jabal Rahmat. So who is Rahmat? Here, Quran says that mercy is Jesus. From mankind, so that mountain's name is Rahmat. Jabal Rahmat gave the last sermon. Jesus, Jesus said, "Ya bani sa ini Rasulai leko musaddikalayam bayna yade mehtar wo mubashram bi Rasuli yati mimbadi Rahmat." He is he is going, he is prophesizing coming after his be Ahmad. You follow what I'm saying? The mountain is there on the world, and it's in rain and Rahmat. And the last sermon is referred to Muhammad peace be upon him. The last sermon in the Quran is of Jesus. He's saying, "I am going, and I'm giving good news of a messenger coming after me. His name will be Ahmad." You follow what I'm trying to say? So now again, problem. I am not against Muhammad peace be upon him. I am saying he is the seal of the prophet, brother. He is the messenger of God, and messenger. You say, "Ashhadunna Muhammad Rasulullah," right? Do you know what you are saying? I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of God. How can you bear witness? In Surah Munafiqun, 63, listen to this. In the Jahak al Munafiqun, when the Munafiqin comes, Kalu na shadu inna ka la Rasulullah, and they come and say that you are the messenger of God. Wallahu yaalamu inna ka la Rasulu, and Allah knows that you are the messenger of Allah. Wallahu ya shadu inna al Munafiqun la kaziqun, and Allah bear witness that the hypocrites are liars. In the Arabic, when the hypocrites come to you, they say, "We bear witness that you are the messenger of Allah." Yes, Allah knows that you are the messenger of Allah, and Allah knows that the that the that the hypocrites witness are liars. So, witness we are saying from from my childhood, I'm hearing Ashadun Nama Rasulullah. I said, "Do you know how can you bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of God?" So, I bear witness because Muhammad is the messenger because of the Quran, because it is mentioned in the Quran. So, you deny the Quranic eyes. Any person say, "Boy, how can you say?" I said, "Because I have verse there three times mentioned Muhammad Rasulullah, and once Khatam and Nabi, Muhammad Rasulullah and Khatam and Nabi. So his status is Khatam. His status is Khatam and Nabi, like Ibrahim Khalilullah, Isa Rulla, Musa Kalimullah, Muhammad Khatam, 
Khatam, Khatam, Khatam, Khatam. Put in your mind, Khatam and Nabi. So, this is it. And Surah Saf, how it says, 61 verse 5. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَ لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ لِمَا تُؤْذُونَنِي وَقَدْ تَعْلَمُونَ أَنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا وَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِي الْقَوْمَ الْفَاسِقِينَ And when Musa said to his people, O oh my people, why do you hurt me? And without doubt you know that I am a messenger of Allah to you. So when they deviated, Allah deviated their hearts. And Allah does not guide the people who are fasikeen, liberal. So when Quran says about Musa Islam came to them, when Musa Islam came to them in history, and when Musa, came, Musa Islam come to us as, as in spiritual form, when Musa said to his people, Oh my people, why do you hurt me? And without doubt, you know that I am the messenger of Allah. Allah says, Musa Islam is saying, I am the messenger of Allah. Why do you hurt me? So when they deviated, they just deviated. Allah deviated their hearts. And Allah does not guide the people who are the fasik. Now, if I read this ayah, I don't have to think it's about the past. Musa Islam is talking to us, to me, as a, as a group, as a people. You can't say it's not, it's not my messenger. Quran speaks about Musa Islam. And if you do not hear to the message of Musa Islam in the Quran, we have to follow Musa Islam as children of Israel. So, so Allah says they deviated. Allah deviated their hearts. Why you deviate? We don't have to deviate. Allah does not, those people who are liberals, take the liberty of not following liberals, fasikeen. Similarly in Surah Saf 61.6, Isa Salaam. وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمْ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِلْ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيَّ مِنَ التَّوْرَةِ وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُهُ أَحْمَدٍ فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ قَالُوا هَذَا سِحْرٌ مُبِينٌ And when Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, Mary said, O children of Israel, surely I am a messenger of Allah to you, confirming what is between my two hands from the At-Tawrah, the law, and giving you good news with a messenger who will come after me, whose name will be Ahmad, most praiseworthy. So when he came to them with clarification, they said, this is a clear magic. You see, Isa Salaam, Jesus came to the children of Israel. We are reading this. I am reading this is the covenant between Allah and the children of Israel. The first, there were messengers came to, to the children of Israel. Many messengers. So I just read one personality of Musa Islam. And they hurted Musa Islam. Now Isa Islam. So Isa Islam said, O children of Israel, surely I am a messenger of Allah to you. He's, Musa Islam said, I am the messenger of Allah to you. To whom? Children of, Children of Israel. And confirming what is between my two hands from the Torah, the law. I am confirming from the Torah, the, what is in my two hands, the Torah. And giving you good news of a messenger coming after me. His name will be Ahmad. Isa Islam, Jesus is giving a prophecy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A messenger will come after me, whose name will be Ahmad. Jesus is prophesizing about Muhammad Sallallahu who will come after is Islam. Okay? Is that? This good news is given to who? Children of Israel. So Allah says, Falamma jambil bayinat qalu hada sir mubin. And when he, after the, the good news is given to the children of Israel, when he came to them with clarifications, who? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came to them with clarification. They said, it's a magic. Kalu hada sirumubin. How it can be magic? How can it be magic? I'm going to ask people who have come for the first time. Why people are saying this is a clear magic? The addressee is to the children of Israel. Isa Islam is addressing the children of Israel. And the good news is given to? And to whom Muhammad Rasulullah came? Did you know that? That's magic. That is clear magic going on. Magic. You understand how magic is? That's Allah says, Qalu Ada Sir Mubin. This Muhammad Sheikh is doing magic. Muhammad Sallallahu did not come to the children of Israel. Muhammad Sallallahu came to the mankind. I'm not denying that. He came for the mankind, of course. But he was specifically to the children of Israel. You are denying all the messengers. You kill them and you belied them. 
This is how you kill them and you belie. You see the very simple, straightforward I am reading. No interpretations at all. I am reading as it is. The Isa Salam is first before this ayah is Musa Salam is addressing. Now Isa Salam is addressing to the children of Israel. And we have come to we are analyzing who are the children of Israel. We know we are the children of Israel, but we are denying it. Because we program into our life that we are not children of Israel. We, they are the Jews are. So this is how the lecture is given to identify who are the children of Israel. Allah is educating us that the, we took a covenant with the children of Israel. That when the men, when messengers came to them, all the messengers, and I gave you an example of Musa Islam came to them as the messenger. Why do you hurt me? I am the messenger of Allah. Isa Islam says, I am the messenger of Allah. And he gives the good news of a messenger coming after Isa Islam, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to the children of Israel. And when he came to them, the, to the children of Israel, they say, Talu Hada Sihr Mubin. This is a clear magic. This is ayat, Talu Hada Sihr Mubin. When they say, whenever the Muhammad Rasulullah came, they say this is magic going on. Because Muhammad Sallallahu did not come to the children of Israel. He was a messenger for mankind. I am not denying he was a messenger for mankind. The, in, among the mankind are children of Israel. And all the covenant was taken with the children of Israel. The book was given to them. They are the people who are favored over nations. The book of the Hukum and Nabuwa was given to the, to the children of Israel. And Isa Salam did not say that Muhammad Salam is coming in the Ismaili and all. He said, in the children of Israel. No Ismail. Mentioned in the Quran. As children of Ismail. Ismail Islam is mentioned, of course. Ismail Islam is mentioned, but children of Ismail is not mentioned because there is no genealogy about Ismail in the Quran. Only Israel and children of Adam. Now, what is the uh, clarification? That is, uh, we have all understood how the place is identified. We have understood how the ag action took place, how she was gave birth to a child. There was no father and how it all happened. Now when Jesus was born, she, when she, she came with the child and she was having a fast. So she pointed to the babe, Surah Maryam 1929. She pointed towards him, that is Jesus. They said, how can we speak who is the youth in the cradle? You see, people in the Quran, Allah signifies that Allah, there is an ayat, وَيُعَلِّمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَالتَّوْرَاةَ وَالْإِنْجِيلِ Allah will teach Jesus the knowledge of the book and the knowledge of hikmah and the knowledge of Torah and the knowledge of Injil. Allah will teach, وَيُعَلِّمُ الْكِتَابَ Allah will teach him the knowledge of the book. وَالْحِكْمَةَ and the knowledge of the wisdom and a Torah, the law, Torah, the law and the wisdom or the Injil. So Jesus peace be upon him, Allah gave him the knowledge of these four things. So he spoke to the world from, which, from the childhood in the cradle. You people, mankind go to the schools or universities and learn things, then you speak. When Allah taught Jesus peace be upon him, so she pointed towards him. They said, how can we talk? You know, that arrogancy, how can we talk? Who's a youth in the cradle? How can he talk? What he knows? Now the time comes. How and the good news was given to Maryam of Isa, peace be, on him, peace be upon him. The birth will take place. So it is mentioned in Al Imran 3 and Ayah 45 and 47. If Khalifil Malaika to Ya Maryamu, in Allah you bashuki, be kalimatim min Usmul Masihu, Isa ibn Maryam, Wajihan fit dunya wal akhirah. وَمِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ قَالَتْ رَبِّ أَنَّا يَكُونُ لِي وَلَدْ وَلَمْ يَمْسَسْنِي بَشَرْ قَالَ كَذَلِكِ اللَّهُ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ إِذَا قَضَى أَمْرًا فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ When the angel said, O Maryam Mary, surely Allah gives you the good news of a word from him. His name will be Al-Masih. Isa, Christ Jesus, the son of Maria Mary, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter, and from those who are close ones. She said, 
O my Lord, how can, how can he be a son for me when no human has touched me? He said, even so, Allah creates what he wills. When the order is complete, then surely he said for it, it be and he was. Now, when the angel said, O Maryam Mary, now this is a good news or the news is given or the prophecy is given, Basharat is given to Maryam of a word from, from Allah and his name will be Al-Masih Isa ibn Maryam, total. His full name is Al-Masih Isa ibn Maryam. Within the name is the answer. You see, normally in the Quran, if you will note, Allah says, call your sons by the names of the fathers. And in the Arab, Arabic world, Arab world, you can see that. No one is called by the name of the mother, except Shen is here. His name would be Usmul Masih Isa Ibn Maryam. Christ Jesus son of Maria Mary that is the good news complete name meaning she is not uh, that the Isa peace be upon will be born of Maryam only of Maryam only that's the point Al Masih Isa Ibn Maryam well the general in the Quran is from the father's progeny here she it is referred as Al Masih Isa Ibn Maryam. And further it says, Wajihan fi dunya wal akhirah wa min al muqarrabin, and he will be honorable in this world and in the hereafter and from the from the from the those who are close ones. Now, as a as as a female, a parent female, she is using her her logic. How can he be a son for me when no human has touched me? The, you must look at the answer. It says, even so, Qala Kadalik. He said, like this, even so, Allah creates what He wills. When He creates, when the order is complete, then surely He said, be for Him and He was. This is the understanding that we have to understand. In generally, <clears throat> we can understand this very easy. Well, Allah, Allah can say, be and it is and he, he was. How? If she was only a female, how? That is why Allah says, Allah knows more what she was, what she gave when she was born. The problem is, that if you go into science and try to understand the the if the women are born or the females are born they have born by two X chromosomes and if you look at the science this is a fact I'm telling you the women ha, uh, have got two X chromosomes and the male has got X and Y chromosomes so male birth is by X and Y and female birth is two X chromosomes. So female, where the Y comes? Of course, by the will of Allah, we can say that. But how? Maryam can have a child, because it's a word was given, when Allah says, when he says, kun fayakun, the Y come from where? That's the question. That is why the Christians are saying, he's the son of God, and People in the Muslim world say, well, it was the will of God. Okay, I understand. We all understand it was the permission will of God. But why the, from where the why comes? That's the, that's the discussion we have to understand. So females have got two X chromosomes, generally, and males has got X and Y chromosomes. So the Y means the male representation. So how this Y comes by the permission of God? That's the discussion. <clears throat> So remember, it says, "Qala kadalik, kadalik Allahu yakhluku ma yasha." 
he said likewise even so Allah creates what he will Ida qada amran and when the order is complete he said to it be and he was Surah Maryam 19 and Ayah 21 Qala kadhalik qala rabbuki huwa aliyya hayyin wa linaj'alahu ayatan lin nasi wa rahmatan minna wa kana amran maqdiyya and he, sorry, he said, likewise, your Lord said, it is easy over me and from us, we will make him a sign and a mercy for mankind. And the order was completed. Meaning that order I was referring to, be and he was when it was completed. And Isa, peace be upon him, Allah says, the further news is that he will be a sign and a mercy for all mankind. And it's easy for Allah to do this. It is, it says, and he said, likewise, your Lord said, it is easy over me to produce a son from only Maryam, peace be upon him. It is easy for him to produce a son. When he can produce Adam, he can produce everybody, human beings. But this was an unusual case. He produced, it's easy for him. And from us, we'll make him a sign and a mercy. A sign means, again, a sign. You can see in the world that she, he, he did this.